Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on this channel, we love our makeup, and we especially love using the makeup we already own. But we're not looking for Instagram fame or TikTok fortune. We're here for real makeup, for real life, and real people like us. I'm very excited for today's video. I'm going to share with you my top five blushes for spring 2022. This kind of changes from year to year. There are some things that stay the same, but first let's talk about what I'm looking for in a spring blush. First, I love juicy cream cheeks. Love. Any shade, any color, but something that is luminous, not sticky, but creamy and juicy. <laughs> Next, I really enjoy soft pinks, peaches, and berry tones for spring. I also love a good coral, and I also really enjoy a little bit of a luminosity in my powder blushes, or glowy. And I have some really good options to share with you today, including some of my very favorite blushes in my entire collection. So with all of that said, let's get into it. But first of all, if you are new here, I just want to give you a very special welcome and also let you know that I also create content over on TikTok and Instagram. And I also have a Patreon down in my description box as always. Never any pressure, but if you're looking for additional Journey and Beauty content, I hope to see you over there. So this first blush falls into the Juicy Cream Cheeks as well as the Soft Pinks and it is the Stila Convertible Color in the shade Lilium. I discovered this blush on Jessica Braun's channel and I had to have it because I heard that this was the cheek that they used on the Bridgerton show on Netflix, which I adore. It is a beautiful, soft, almost neutral pink in my opinion. It is creamy, it is juicy, and it just gives that perfect, subtle, demure, but juicy cheek. It doesn't stay dewy or tacky and it blends like an absolute dream. This has become one of my favorite cream cheeks in my entire collection because it's just so easy to use. I love the Honest Beauty cream cheeks, but I feel like this is a step above that. I think it's a little bit more versatile and I think the shades are absolutely spot on. There are many shades in the Stila Convertible colors, but I picked this one because I felt like this sort of neutral soft pink cream cheek was something that was missing from my collection and I do not regret it at all. It's lovely and I highly recommend it. The next cream blush falls into the berry category. And if you've been around on my channel for a little while or within the last year, you'll know that this is a favorite for a lot of seasons. But I do love a beautiful berry cheek in spring. Some might say that's more for fall or winter. I say you can wear a berry cheek anytime. But this berry cheek specifically from Tower 28 this is the Beach Please blush in the shade After Hours. This is a gorgeous berry. It looks scary. And if you get carried away, it might just be scary. But it's absolutely stunning, blended out. You can go in very lightly. And the other thing I absolutely love about this formula is it actually does work on the lips as well as the cheek. It is such a formula that is cream and blendable and lovely, but it doesn't have that cream to powder sort of formula. So it actually works on the lips. It's comfortable on the lips. And then you can get this beautiful monochromatic berry lip and cheek look to pair with all of your spring eyeshadow looks and, you know, just have fun with. It is a very easy to blend formula. I like this one with both a brush, a sponge, or the fingertips. I think it's probably easiest to control with a sponge, but you do you boo and I'll do me. <laughs> I'm curious though how many of the rest of you actually use berries 
in the spring. I just think it's fresh. I think it's a great way to set up a pastel eyeshadow look going in with a berry cheek or berry lip because that contrast is going to just be gorgeous. The next blush falls into the Soft Pink Luminous Powder Blush Formula and it's the Persona Super Blush in the shade Carmel. This is like a beautiful, soft, almost mauve -y pink and it has no shimmer to it, but it does give a beautiful luminosity to the cheeks that you'll see in the demos. I just love this. I had a really hard time choosing and I almost just said, you know, both of the shades that I have from Persona are great for spring and they are, but I felt like I needed to choose one or the other and I chose Carmel. It's definitely a beginner friendly blush formula in my opinion, a big fluffy brush or whatever you like really. And this is going to go with so many looks, not just in spring. I also really love this blush in the winter. So it's a great blush tone to transition from the colder months into the warmer months, if you will. And I, it's just a favorite of mine. I really, really enjoy not only the formula, but the shades that are offered. I definitely have the newest shade, which is called Bubble on my wish list. So if you've tried that shade, what do you think? And do you think I would like it? The next blush is a duo and it checks all kinds of spring blush boxes for me. It is coral, it is a juicy cream cheek, it is a soft peach, and it is a luminous powder blush. All in one, it's the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo in the shade Do We Know Her. I love this. This is not only beautiful in the spring, but also in the summer. I love this soft peachy powder blush, but I also love this sort of reddish peachy kind of coral shade. Now, if you're not familiar with this formula or this product, Patrick Ta actually designed these duos for the powder to go on first and then layer the cream over top, which you will see in the demo. And the reason that is, is to give that juicy cream cheek look. The luminosity comes from the formula and not from any type of glitter or shimmer or anything like that. I love the combo of the peach and the coral together. I like them separately, but I love them together as you'll see in the demo today. And while these are on the pricey side, you are getting two for one. I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just saying, you know, I think that that is part of where the price is in his products. I love these duos two bits. I have his blush palette and then I have another single duo like this one and they're all beautiful and they're all worth the price in my opinion but I specifically love this colorway for spring. Now all of the rest of the blushes that I've already showed you I purchased last year or before. This blush, the last of the five blushes, is something I purchased this year, but it became a very, very fast favorite, and it is the blush that I'm wearing today, and it is the Nabla Skin Glazing Gloss Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Independence. I would describe this as a bronzy rose shade, and it is a baked gelée formula, which means it is very, very smooth and looks very smooth on the skin. There's nothing worse to me than picking up a beautiful glowy blush from the store and then coming home only to find that it emphasizes every little bit of texture that you didn't even know that you had. I have been disappointed by so many glowy blushes in that way. This is not one of those blushes. As you can see on my skin, it looks very smooth and it just gives that glassy skin finish on the cheeks. But the other thing that I love about this Nabla line of skin glazing products is that 
there is a wide variety and what might be a blush for me might be a highlighter for you or what might be a highlighter for me might be a blush for you. So it's, I feel like there are a lot of options no matter what your skin tone. And I also love the skin bronzing line as well, but we're not talking about bronzers today. But do let me know below, are you interested in like a top five highlighters for spring? I don't know that a lot of us think of highlighters in terms of seasons, but I'd be happy to do that. And I have had a couple come to mind that I want to pull out for spring specifically. So let me know on that. But I absolutely love this blush. It's going to be hard for me not to purchase all of the Nabwa skin glazing products. I currently have two that are in blushy tones for myself, as well as one highlighter tone, and then the skin bronzing, which is a different line. These do go on sale if you are interested in the Nabla products. Nabla themselves, their direct sale website does put these on sale pretty regularly from what I understand, and that would be a great time to pick one of these up. So. That is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. I love talking about blush almost as much as I enjoy talking about eyeshadow. But let me know down below, what are your criteria for the blushes that you pull out for spring? Are you looking for pink for days? Or are you looking for something glowy or creamy and juicy? let me know down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would love to see you in my next video. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely a beautiful makeup days, specifically beautiful spring blush makeup days. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon.